dude, I was just insulted by Super Excellency. Let me give you some background on this. It all started when Super Excellency made this quiz. Bible knowledge. 20 questions. 10 quotes that he took from the King James Version. 10 quotes he made up to sound like they came from the Bible. The quiz was to identify which ones were real, which ones he made up. Now these quotes were selected from the Bible randomly, so there's no prioritization as to taking what was essential from the Bible. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Maybe he wasn't talking about me. Sure, I feel insulted, but maybe he didn't intend to insult me. Let's look at the data. Uh, of the comments that were made in Super Excellency's uh, original video, there were uh, 61 net unique commenters in the sample. That was controlling for who uh, commented after he made his video, uh, removing uh, Super Excellency's own comments, and of course uh, removing multiple comments from the same person. Now of these uh, 61 comments, there were 10 comments where the commenter indicated they received a 50% score indicating 50% right, 50% wrong, pretty random. Now, of these 10 people that made those comments about getting a 50% score, four gave no value judgment as to whether or not their score was great or not. Four gave negative value judgments about their performance, saying, oh man, I suck. Two, very liberally, using a very liberal standard, provided positive value judgments about their performance. Now, of these just the first, Bear Muda, uh, let's see, what did he say that was so positive? I did it not real bad. Well, could be bad, not real bad. Uh, the second comment was from me. In my joking comment, the second half of it, uh, I s said, uh, I was 10 for 20. So my Bible knowledge is as at, le at least equal to random probability. Definitely ignorance of statistics. Uh, no more positive comments. Um, I don't know. Maybe people sent him personal messages talking about how great they did on the the uh, quiz because they only got 50 percent. Uh, in terms of references to uh, probability, there was two. Uh, one by uh, the question mark of God, uh, in which he did not make a positive comment about his results, but just said that it was odd that he did worse on the first half of the test than he did on the second half of the test. Uh, then, of course, there was mine, of course, with the uh, reference to random probability. With the other comments, I don't know who else he might be referring to except for me. Now, Super Excellency is a scientist. He's taking classes at university about statistics and probability. Uh, he's well-versed in research methods. It's, you know, that's his job. He uses these statistics every day. I'm not trying to argue that I know more about statistics than he does, because I don't. However, just because you've got so much knowledge, it's no reason to assault me. <laughs> just kidding. I'm going to argue here three different reasons why 10 out of 20 isn't the insane score that Super Excellency presents it to be. Uh, first, I'm going to look at the central tendency of the data that is available in the comment section. Second, I'm going to look at did Question Mark of God really have a pretty good point about the validity of the test? And then third, I'm going to look at what actually is a good score on the quiz that Super Excellency created. Now, on the first point about central tendency, in our sample of 61 net unique commenters, there were 51 
reports of results. The mode value of those reports was 10. Now, in the next two numbers that I'm going to report, I want to um, repeat what Super Excellency had said in his follow-up video in which he indicated that a margin of 5% was still within random probability where he was looking at uh, 9 out of 20 coin flips being close enough to 50. So, the mean value, the average value, for the 51 reported observed results was 10.86. Thus, 10 is within the uh, margin of error that Super Excellency presented. The median value of the reported results, that value that's, you know, right in the middle, half of them are above, half of them are below, was 11. Again, 5% margin that Super Excellency granted, 10 is in the right range. Now, I really should acknowledge a couple defects in terms of this sample. Uh, one, it's not random, so I'm only describing that which was reported. Second, uh, the process lacked controls. People could have misreported what value they actually received. Also, there were values that could have been unreported uh, people embarrassed to say that they only got zero. Let's get to the point that was made by uh, the question mark of God, who I know has commented on this video to defend you know, his own 50% score, which matched my 50% score. What he observed about the questions was that in the first half of the test, the first 10 questions, he got 8 out of 10 wrong. And then in the second half of the questions, he got 8 out of 10 right. Now, if his results were random, that difference in the half doesn't matter. However, there's insufficient data to throw out his observation to say that it doesn't matter. Not all those questions necessarily were equal. In order to establish that, more data was needed to be able to assess whether any particular questions had a higher or lower probability of being answered correctly by the respondents. Third, I think there's something that Super Excellency and I could agree on about how statistics are used. Statistics do not tell you what is good and what is bad. They are quantitative tools. To understand what is good and bad is something beyond statistics. Now, let's look at the question. I think that there are probably three ranges of values that uh, this data could have been described in. That random range in the middle that Super Excellency discounted those high values that indicated a superior ability to s distinguish between random Bible passages and random made-up crap. And then there's that third tier, the bottom tier, where they got it the opposite of what was true after they applied their own knowledge and, and intelligence to the problem. Uh, they were in the George Costanza world of what does my judgment tell me? Do the opposite if I want to be correct.